Hello and welcome to our fifth video in the MaxSurf Webinar 2 series on modeling techniques. This video looks at preparing your model for analysis in Hydromax and other analysis programs. The first thing we need to do is to check the surfaces in the design to make sure we've set up the surface usage correctly. The best way to do that is in the surfaces window. This tabulates each of the surfaces in the design in an Excel style format and you can see in the use column it defines whether it's used for the wetted hull or whether it's just internal structure which should be ignored for stability purposes. You can see here that some of the surfaces are set to hull and others are set to internal structure. The best way to review that is just to turn on using the visibility column the surfaces which are visible and turn off the ones which are just internal structure. So we can review that in 3D. We also want to check our trimming so we can take a look at our trim surfaces and make sure that each surface has been trimmed off such that the hull and all the surfaces form a closed watertight volume. Another thing that we need to check, we should go to the body plan and check that the orientation of our surfaces is correct by using the outside arrows command. The outside arrows allows us to show which direction of the surface points to the wetted surface or the outside. So all of these arrows should point outwards in the body plan view. For the surfaces at the front and aft end of the design, we should see that all those surfaces at the front should point forward towards the water and all of those surfaces at the rear should point aft out into the water. If one of those was the wrong way around we simply click on those arrows to put them in the right direction. Also in the body plan view we should validate that our sections are going to form correctly and the best way to do that is to turn off all of the edges and other contours and just show our current section. Then we can start up forward in the design and then using the left arrow key we can gradually walk our way down the design. Notice that as we come to a bulbous bow section our section is made up of two parts. We have a closed section at the bottom and then an open section at the top. That's okay, we're allowed one opening in the section but if we do have multiple parts then the other parts must be closed. So let's keep walking our way down the design as we move further aft we come to the bow thruster. Again it's okay to have separate parts. We can have a closed section down here and then we can have uh, an open section here which Hydromax will close off with a straight line at the top. If we walk our way down the remainder of the model I've got trimming on so we can see that uh, the lines are trimmed correctly and as we get down to where the box keel is we can see that uh, the trimming here the keel has been trimmed off to the hull but just as importantly a hole has been trimmed in the hull so that we end up with one closed boundary formed by all of those contours. So inspecting your hull in this way in the body plan view is a good way to verify that your design is going to be watertight before you move into uh, Hydromax. Finally, uh, you should check your precision settings. You can almost always use medium precision for your analysis. There's no need to go to higher settings and um, make sure that the trimming is turned on ready for import into the other programs. That summarizes the checks you should do before opening in Hydromax. Now I'd like to show you some modeling te techniques that are specific to Hydromax. To create tanks and compartments in Hydromax, it can, if they are irregularly shaped, it can be useful to start with curves and then to create the surfaces that make that shape. So first let's turn on our drawing grid and we'll just check our drawing grid settings to make sure that a grid's at a reasonable spacing and that the longitudinal location is where we want to start the aft end of our tank. Then I can start using the curve drawing tools to draw some curves which define where the surfaces of the tank are going to be. So I'm just going to quickly sketch in some straight lines here for the tank uh, boundaries. So I'm defining an irregularly shaped tank here. And one of the important things when we come out to the wing tanks is that we need to close off all the way around the outside of the wing tank. So I'll go all the way around here so that uh, I can close off that tank before it gets trimmed off to the hull and then finally another surface so I can close off the double bottom. 
So if I turn off my grid, I can see the curves that I've sketched here and uh, they're going to form the boundaries of my various tanks. If I switch to a 3D view, then I can use the extrude surface command to extrude those forward by 5 meters and uh, that will make the surfaces of my design that are going to be used to define my tanks and compartments. So we can see if I want to make a tank in here, I can select these surfaces in Hydromax to make an internal tank and I can select these surfaces here to uh, make a, uh, a wing tank. So starting out with curves can be a good way to uh, define your tank boundaries and the the last thing we need to do is for all of those surfaces set their surface usage type to internal structure so they can be used for tank boundaries.